So today I'm talking to you about biceps, one of the best muscles that you can work on and build. So many people start their bodybuilding journeys and they want to get that, that width, that height in their biceps. They, they want to work here and they want to bring it out this way. And whenever they squeeze, they want to have that height to it. If you want to build the biceps, you have to understand they're like every other muscle. There's different parts to it. You've got the inner head of the bicep and the outer head. If you want to have biceps which are thick, then you're going to need to hit both. Whenever you want to get that height, you're going to want to focus on the inner head. That's going to help bring that squeeze. Ultimately, every single way that you can work the bicep starts to bring that height and bring that thickness. What you're going to notice yourself is different exercises respond better for you. But ultimately, whenever you can hit that outer head, you're going to get that nice height from the, the rear bicep pose. And if you want to get the front height, then you want to hit the inner bicep. The inner bicep is also going to bring that thickness out this way and the outer head is going to bring the bicep out in the thickness the other way. What exercises target these then? If you want to hit the inner head, then any kind of bicep curl motion that comes with your palms facing up the way is going to focus mostly on that inner head. Most people lack the outer head of the bicep. This is going to come from rear curls. If you grab an easy bar, it's very good for the wrist to hold like this and then you do your reps like so. Again, what else does it? We've got the hammer curls. Grab two dumbbells like so, and then you do the same bicep motion. And instead of having your hands facing under the way, you have them facing sideways. You grab those dumbbells and you do the reps like so. This is going to help target that outer bicep head. The bicep is never going to respond to just one exercise. Everybody has to do a multiple of exercises. You, it's up to you to try them and then figure out what works for you. For the majority of the time I find with clients, they respond best to the two simple exercises. Simple barbell curl like so. This helps keep the hands straight. Most people, whenever they start to fatigue on the bicep curl, they start to bring their wrists in. If you find your wrists aren't strong enough, then using the easy, bar, easy curl bar like so, and then doing it like that helps to take the pressure off the wrists. The next part is hitting the outer head, and most people respond best to the hammer dumbbell curls. If you can see, whenever you grab it like so, when you keep your arms pointing straight like this, it just it trains the, the outer head of the biceps far better than most exercises. Myself personally, whenever I'm starting to hit biceps, I throw in multiple exercises. If you're advanced, you do more exercises, more sets, more reps. There's no reason not to. But most people are training, they're new, they want to get better results or they're just wanting to get that next edge. If you want to have those results, then you pick the two main exercises. The standard barbell curl or easy curl bar and then the simple dumbbell hammer curls. Try them now.